Hi, Assalamu Alaikum. Welcome back to Science Year 2 class with Teacher Roska. Unit 1 Scientific Skills Science Process Skills. Today we're going to focus to the third science process skill, which is measure and use numbers. Let's recall. There are four science process skills, which are observe, classify, measure and use numbers, and communicate. As for today, we're going to focus on measure and use numbers. Measure and use numbers means applying the skill of measuring and using numbers using the correct standard tools. Menggunakan kemahiran mengukur dan menggunakan nombor dengan menggunakan alat piawai yang sesuai. Let's read this conversation between Nurul and Kana from the science textbook page 8. My body weight is 24 kilograms. How do you measure your body weight? I measure my body weight using this weighing scale. Your body weight is 35 kilograms. You are heavier than I am. Also, we are of the same age. We have different body weight. From the conversation, we know that Nurul and Kanang measure their body weight. They measure it using a correct standard tool. They apply the skill of measuring and using numbers. These are examples of standard tools. Standard tools are tools that we use to measure. We use ruler to measure the length of things. We might also use soft measuring tape and measuring tape to measure the length of things. Gunakan pembaris untuk mengukur panjang sesuatu benda. Boleh juga guna pita pengukur. Body weighing scale is used to measure the body weight. Alat penimbang badan untuk menimbang berat badan. Food weighing scale is usually used at the market and also at the kitchen to weigh the food. Alat penimbang makanan Untuk menimbang makanan, selalunya digunakan di pasar untuk menimbang sayur-sayuran. Beaker is usually used to measure the volume of liquid. Beaker digunakan untuk menyukat isi padu cecair. To measure the time, we can use stopwatch or digital stopwatch. Untuk mengukur masa, kita boleh menggunakan jam randik. Let's try this activity. Measure the length of a pencil. Ukur panjang sebatang pencil. Make sure the end part of the pencil is placed to the point zero of the ruler. Pastikan hujung pencil diletakkan pada tanda sifar. The other parts of the pencils show the lengths. Pada hujung pensel ini menunjukkan panjang pensel. So the length of the pencil is 14 cm. Maka panjang pensel ialah 14 cm. This is easy right? I know you can do it. That's all for today. See you in the next class. Bye.